Debugging can be a pain, am I right? I mean, you're trying to hunt down a bug. Sometimes it's like if you're using other programming language other than Python, maybe it's that stinking little semicolon issue, or maybe it's you have a extra space like over here, and then it's an indenting issue. We all just know that debugging is a pain. Well, in a previous video, I showed you how to use Visual Studio Code. This is the IDE that I typically use, both on my free time as well as in my day-to-day -day job. And I showed you how to use the debugger to essentially go trace down a pro, uh, an issue. Well, I recently ran into a case where I need to use Visual Studio Code to debug a program. However, this program took in arguments, meaning that when I was down here in my command line, I had to pass in, so like right here, it's saying, hey, it's looking for a saying, and, not, and I'm gonna pass in, you should, right? And if I pass this in, we run this, it says you should subscribe to Case Digital. But I didn't know how to use VS Code or I've never really set up VS Code to essentially use arguments. So in this video, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to debug a program, whether it's Python, like I typically teach, or this should work with any other programming language um, to debug or to pass in arguments so that you can get your debug you're working and get up and going with what you're with that bug you're trying to hunt down. So let's go ahead and get started. So my previous video, I showed you to get started, to get the debugger up and going, what you essentially need to do is go over here to this little um, icon over here in VS Code, which is the debug and run. So if you click that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna pop this up. Now, if you already have a launch.json file set to go, basically you'll see um, what you're, I'll show you here in a sec. But if you don't, what we're gonna do is say, hey, hey, create a JSON file or launch.json file. In our case, we're gonna do a Python file. Um, it's to kind of detected this for us, let us know that it sees that we're using a Python file. So we're just gonna say, hey, create this. And now we're faced with, um, you know, if you already had a JSON.launch file, you'll see this is what you'll see typically. Um, but then we get this configuration. Now you can go ahead and name this configuration for this debugging, for this launching, because um, you can have multiple, right? In our case, it's the current file, meaning that if I'm clicked on this Python file and I go up here and hit run, it's gonna launch and run this. Now, like we noticed, in this case, this program takes a input. Now, if I don't pass the input, what happens? I get an error. It says, hey, look, the index is out of range because we're using this os.sys to grab our arguments out and well, there's nothing to grab. And so this is a basically an index error into a list. But if I run this program, how do I, how do, if I'm trying to debug and I'm trying to hit run, what do I do? Because if I hit run, it's gonna start and launch and get going and it's gonna hang. We're gonna get an exception right there where it just says, hey, look, there, the, you, have an, you have an issue. So how do we solve this problem? To solve this, essentially what we need to do is go up here, kill the essential, the program run so that way it stops. So I'm gonna stop that. And then we're gonna come back over to this launch file. And what we're gonna to do to this launch file is come right up here, hit a comma, and we're gonna type in args. And then it needs to basically have the string quotation around it. And now what we can do is pass in the arguments. And now, oftentimes arguments, when you pass them in, are separated by space. But we'll do here a case, uh, we'll do a, um, in a minute we're gonna do it, I'm gonna show you where maybe you have, you know, a bunch of like the dash R and then your argument name and all that stuff and how you handle that. But in our case, we just have a simple like, hey, we're doing strings, space, and then whatever arguments you pass in. Um, and so we're gonna type, you should, and then we wanna make sure this runs correctly, right? So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put a breakpoint right of this print statement, which shows that, hey, we'll get the argument or we should get the argument, right? And then when we get to, it'll stop execution right here and then we can say, we can check and see what that variable of saying holds. So I click on this, uh, the name of the file that I'm using, I go over here and click play. This is gonna start up and look, now you see there's the name of our file, how to debug a program with Python with arguments in VS Code. And then it passed in our argument. It actually gave us the argument. And and we can verify that by knowing that since the program is stopped here, we can go down to our arguments or our variables. Let me move this out, out of the way. And we should we can check our variables. It says here's a, within our local variables, there's the one saying, and it says you should. So right there is how we've passed um, an argument into VS Code. So now you can start your debugging journey and good luck bug hunting. <laughs> so oftentimes though, things are not this easy. Like, I mean, Excuse me, I mean, they may be that easy, but what happens if you get something like where you're using arg, like arg parse in Python, where you can have, you know, I can add a bunch of arguments in here and let's just add another one and we'll say, this is foo. So now we have these two arguments that we're gonna pass in. They, ha they are both required. So it means that they have to be passed in or be ran. And so if I comment this part out, 
and then I go and I run this one. Let's now set our breakpoint at this print statement and see what, what args becomes. But if you remember, we need to go back over to the launch uh, file and we need to pass in our arguments. Now our first one was a dash S and then a comma, and then we need to do what our saying is, right? And in our case, it was you should. Then another comma to do a dash F, and then we'll just say comma, we'll do hello. Now, if we come back over here, launch the program, you should see, look, right there, the debugger has now launched it with dash S, and then you should, and then dash F, hello. So we can double check that. In our args, it says we have the argument saying, under the variable saying, it says you should, and then for foo, it says hello. So right there, I've just showed you first how you can do it with one argument, and then now how you can do it with multiple arguments, how you can pass that into VS Code, and then start that bug hunting journey. So I hope this provided value. If it did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribe consider subscribing this is where we learn about python software development and other interesting things that i find that could help you on your software journey as i am on mine so until next time keep on programming